Manufacturing here. Today, I'm going to show you how to solve quadratic function and complete the square using CAS calculator. Hello everyone! Today, I'm going to show you how to solve quadratic equations and complete the square using TI Inspire CAS calculator. If you haven't added a calculator page, please do it now and we'll start solving for our and we'll start solving quadratic equations. To use solve function, please go to menu, 3, and 1. And inside the solve function, write your equation, let's say x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. An important thing about solve function, you always have to put comma, whatever variable you're trying to solve for. In this case, it's x. So let's write down comma x. Close your bracket, click enter, and it'll give you the solution. x is negative 3 or negative 1. Let's try another equation. Menu 3, 1, and inside the bracket, let's solve 2x squared plus 9x plus 1 equals 0. And again, we're trying to solve for x, so please write down comma x. Close your bracket, click enter and it'll give you the exact values of your solutions. It's negative root 73 plus 9 over 4 or root 73 minus 9 over 4. If you want to change your solutions to decimals, you can always do control enter and it'll change your exact value to decimal values, which is negative 4.386 or negative 0.114. Let's try another equation. Menu 3, 1. Inside the bracket, let's try x squared plus x plus 5 equals 0, comma x. And this one will give you false, which means that it's not going to have any solution. Next topic, let's try to complete the square using CAS. So go to menu, 3, 5. Just like solve function, type your expression, x squared plus 4x minus 2. And this one, you have to write comma x as well. And if you click enter, it will complete the square for you. x plus 2 squared minus 6. And from here, if you want to solve for the x when this expression is 0, menu 3, 1. You can use the up arrow button to go up. And if you click enter on the expression, it will copy it down for you. And you can type equals 0, comma x and it'll give you the answer for you. If you want to factorize your expressions, all you have to do is menu 3, 2, and inside the factor, you just have to write down your expression, but instead of writing, let's just copy it down. Use the up arrow to go up, up, up. When it's highlighted the expression that you want to copy it down, click enter, and it'll drag it down for you, and comma x, and it'll factorize it for you. Let's try to complete the square one more time. Menu 3, 5. Let's write x squared plus 3x minus 5 comma x. And you'll complete the square for you. And again, if you want to factorize this, go to menu 3, 2. Copy down your expression comma x and it will factorize it for you. And if you want to solve when this expression equals 0, menu 3, 1, inside the solve, copy down your expression, make it equal 0, comma x, and you'll solve for the x value. And again, if you want to change this one to decimal, simply just click Control enter and it'll give you the decimal. Thank you so much for watching our quadratic videos today. Make sure you like and subscribe our channel for more math tips and materials. Study smarter, not harder with SAC.